Hey everybody, what's going on? We're back on the free to play. Made a little bit of progress yesterday. We're hung up now on 610 in the campaign and we're getting close-ish um, to our next 5A, or our first 5A rather. We can make, we can almost make another five star in here. I've got you, him and then two pieces of food. So we need a little bit more. I'm trying to not feed any of the champs that I want to use for exclusives a little bit later on. Uh, so, so we're going to try to be patient and not do that. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, what we're able to do. And I've been trying to work my way through these. So I can get over here and start getting some effect hit because I think that's going to be really, really nice for us. So uh, I'm going to probably spend a little bit more time when I get my keys back anyway in here. When those fill back up, I'll jump in here and hopefully be able to make it to the next one. And then I'll just start pumping stats into effect hit because I feel like the more effect hit I have, the easier it's going to get to get the most out of him. Right now we're at only 200,000 HP, which is a bit low in comparison to what he's going to be when he's 5A. Effect hit is 45. We're doing okay on that. And then mastery 44. But again, I think if we can start to pump up that effect hit from other places and focus more on like mastery and stuff, he's, he's really going to start to get dangerous. So we did get a piece of gear from the campaign that we, that we replaced one of his pieces with. I, w I wish it would have rolled more mastery, but it is what it is. And then I, I, I did go through and kind of upgrade everybody's stuff a little bit as I was able to. Nothing crazy going on really, but tried to make some improvements. It's 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 about time he gets an upgrade, honestly. But I just don't I don't reckon I quite have it yet. I did manage to get an effect hit totem for him. Not in love with the substats, but we got the effect hit totem and then we got a mastery totem here. Again, substats could be a little bit better, but HP and effect hit down there. Fine. So that's what we got going on with our champs right now. Working our way through this mystic treasure hunt. Where are we at here? Ooh, we're getting five four star eggs at reset. So if I haven't done it by then, I will be able to 5A Pazanja. So in tomorrow's episode, regardless, Pazanja will be 5A. We will have our first 5A champ. And then we can start to spread out a little bit. I might want to get the squad. This is where it's going to get a little bit difficult because part of me wants to just focus another champ, but then another part of me thinks if I spread out my resources a little bit after I have the 5A, I think my supports could do a little bit better at 1A, and maybe that could just be all they need is 1A, and then maybe, uh, maybe Elec would be one we focus next. I'm going to need some decent stats in him because he ignores shield, and I think he's going to be... At least for now, he's going to be our answer to the shield mark boss. Um, and then these are the two supports I'm going to be running. So... Yeah. What do we? What do you get from exclusives again? Double the chance to defense down and then increase his self-turn meter by 30%. So this one will 140 damage to all enemies with a 20% chance to reduce defense two turns. Reducing defense doubles. But maybe that's not chance. Maybe that turns it into the 60% down defense. That's right. And then here also increases his turn meter by 30%. And that can get down to a three turn cooldown. Okay. Yeah, he'll ignore shield and do more damage to the targets that have shield. So it's going to be a matter of just keeping him alive and then having some good damage on him and i think that's gonna be i think he's our ticket i think he's our ticket through that so i reckon i should think about getting him five stars soon so yeah that's what i mean after i get hazanja to 5a then it's gonna be kind of tricky to navigate like who to do what with hell it might even be worth Part of me wonders if it's worth even regressing him into him, but I'm going to try not to do that. I'm going to leave him here, though. It's going to be a minute before I do anything else with him, so. Maybe maybe we take space to 1A, 
maybe we take him and then, and then we start to focus him a little bit. Because the only one that I think is really a problem is the shield one. And he's our, he's really our only answer to it. I don't think anyone else has a solution for it. So I don't know. That's a little bit of my thought process out loud. We did go back and get some more stars in the campaign. So we've, we're done with common. We're close to done with hard. Actually, where are we at? Well, why couldn't I do more? Did I just like move on? Did I? Let's see how this goes. Let's see why we, I'm wondering if maybe I just jumped back up a difficulty. For some other reason. I can't imagine we just hit a hard wall here at 10, you know? Yeah, none of them are hitting particularly hard. I must have gotten distracted. <laughs> I must have jumped. I think sometimes when you back out and go back in, it, it puts you back on the difficulty you were on. Maybe that's what happened and I just forgot I was doing this because I can't imagine us really struggling to do this. It was a one star as well. So even if we don't get it in the turn limit, we should at least two star, right? So it's 60. For this stage, man, we were right on the brink. So I, I bet if we did that a couple more times, they'd eventually get it. So yeah, I'll, I'll come back and do that later. And then I'll see if I can do 11 and 12. How much progress we can make in there. <sighs> and then when I, I can also start doing his emblems, which will help when I get him to 5A, which will happen today, and then we can get him some effect. Uh, oh, I've already got him affected, never mind. I can get him, what can we get him down here? What am I thinking of that I couldn't do with him till he's 5A? Aura stuff, maybe. Is it Aura stuff? No. Which dungeon in it is it that I don't unlock? Faction Abyss. Which is Aura stuff, right? Hard to remember where everything comes from. <laughs> yeah, emblems we can do once they're awakened at all. This is yes, it's our stuff. Okay, all right. A little brain fart there, but we're all good. We are. We only have two. I thought we had more. I swear I got. Where I had more than two. <laughs> I thought I had like 14. Maybe not. Maybe I'm maybe I'm mixing up another account. I was pretty sure I got like three from the last event. Where it's down at the bottom and you're going, wasn't there wasn't there a one and then a two? And I'm pretty sure I got the two. Maybe there wasn't a one. Maybe I'm I mean I almost want to go back into old videos. I swear I had more than two of those, dude. That is weird. That is weird. I have two regression potions. Hopefully we won't need them. We'll just let them pile up over time. But All right, so six, 10. Let's jump into the campaign and see what it is about six, 10 that's hanging us up. Cause I don't think I've actually watched the run yet. I think I've just let them try it a few times on auto. If we could sneak through that, that would be dope. Alright, so he is losing his effectiveness. He needs more effect hit. And to be a little bit tankier.
and poisons do not feel good, bro. Let's take her out. And then I reckon we're going after you. We really would have liked that slow. Incoming. I'm gonna try to save the freeze. Hopefully he makes it into the next round. Resist. He's still getting resisted. We need a little bit more effect hit than we have. Which I think my next dump into the into the green mark tower is gonna solve that for us. All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, that explains it. <laughs> that explains it. Uh, I was really trying to avoid that. Rip. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt real bad. Uh, yeah, we're in trouble. Gotta get her out of here. Reckon we just try to go for it, you know? Oof. Not good. So Hazanja might be dead next turn. Oh, land an HP burn here. Yes, dude. <laughs> yes. We snuck through, baby. All right. Now, I think I still need to do... Yeah, I got it. Oh, 7, 10, clear 16, and then I need to do the next space temple. All right, so 16 of any mark, which I think is the shield stage. 7, 10 of, of campaign, and then space temple. Let's jump in here and see what the space temple's got going on. Which one is this? We struggled to get to the last one. I'm probably gonna wait till Hazanja's 5A. Unless there's an easy chest. What I've been doing is like, for the ones that have been more difficult, I'll, I'll like grab the easy chest and then I'll restart. And then I'll like grab a hard chest, restart, grab a hard chest. Like on the ones that it makes sense to do that. Let's see, let's see what these battles are gonna look like for us here. I reckon getting his to 5 is gonna be a real big change for us. I'm excited about that. All right, how bad is this gonna be? God. Not terrible. We can probably just sneak another one out of here. All right, so we'll go. And then we need to clear one of those out. So yeah, like if I can clear these two out, then I can just totally skip these fights next time I run through, you know what I mean? More effect hit, hit on him is going to be very helpful for these as well. If he can land those freezes more reliably, and we can steal their whole first turn. Him landing the freezes and Hazanja being 5A and actually getting like doing much bigger damage with this stuff, I think that'll, we could probably take him out mostly in two turns and really negate the amount of hits we have to take, but he's got to land those freezes. All right, can we steal another one here? Cool thing too is I won't even have to do any fights to get back to this point. So that's kind of nice that this one is set up the way that it is. Yeah. Right. 
take this, and yeah, now we have to do, we don't even have to do any more fights to get back here. And then from here, I can, I can probably get that chest this time too. I'm gonna try to get that chest, because I can still access that switch, and then I'll be halfway done with this one. Just to revive. shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, easy. All right, sweet. We're so we can we can get through this. I was kind of worried we were going to hit a wall just based on our strength here. But this this temple's kind of honestly set up pretty well. I don't know if that was intentional, but it's set up kind of well. And that, like, we can do, we can still get back to where we are without having to do any more fights. And then we've got one, two. I'm kind of wondering if I could, if I could, if he could pull this one out too. We let's 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 try to grab it real quick. Oh, I gotta do that fight to go back through. I see. Okay. Can we win two more? What's this switch do? What happens if I run back over this? Will he just not do it? Well, it's not unreachable because I'm standing next to it. Oh, that's just the, that's the beam. <laughs> I was like, what? Okay. How bad did that hurt? 40%, is that what it said? 40% of my HP? That's pretty, pretty beefy. Will it kill everybody? Let's, I just wanna see where we're at. All right, I guess I have to do all of these to make it go away. We'll go bam, 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 bam. I hate that it doesn't go back to your champ because I'm, I'm i'm like still waiting on it sometimes uh oh yeah they're very nearly dead i mean they can either do it or they can't you know I mean? either way we can get back to this point um with only having to do what a couple of fights i think won't be so bad Might be able to do that before he even hits five. And we'll reset it. I do. I, I would honestly pay gems. There's been a couple situations where I've made it to the last one, like to the last fight. There was one where it was a Malia. Y'all might remember it. And uh, I made it all the way to her, and then she killed every champ I had. And it was like, I've got to do this whole fucking temple again just to get back to her. Real pain in the I'd pay gems to like revive my champs. All right, so we'll work on that. Tomorrow should be a pretty interesting episode for us. We're gonna have a 5A Hazanja, guaranteed. And um, we will see, we will see what a change that makes for us. I have a pretty good feel for how strong he is right now at 4A with everything. I'm hoping it's a very, very noticeable difference in him. So um, that's it, I'm gonna get out of for the day. Appreciate y'all, we have a good one.